Hi guys! This is Lata Rabinovich and my Easy Fluid Art class. Today we will learn how I did this painting. I mean, definitely we are not going to do this exactly painting, but we will do something close. You will understand the principle and if you want to try, you will be able to do something close to this. So, are you ready guys? I am. So first of all, let me show what the tools you're going to use. First, it will be our spatula, which you're already familiar with. And then we will use the blower. <laughs> and the, we also might use the straw. Hopefully, we will have enough time to play with this as well. But first of all, we would need to start with putting our gloves on because no matter what we do our hands should be protected and clean got that to make it interesting and as you can see by the way I did kind of the same thing on this painting it's split it on two two halves the first one is the light and the second one it was dark and I created the fire in the middle let's go with this but the colors which we're going to use it will be red and black and we will create fire in between exciting right so let's start first with creating the fire i got the small cup do we have to do it that way not really you can just put it on a canvas since i don't have a big canvas my canvas is pretty small it's easy to work with the cup and even on a big one, you know what, this one I did with a big cup as well. It's just easier to navigate this way and the, the colors already starting pre-mix there. So it's really, really cool thing. This is, I guess, would be the only time when i not planning to use white. Let's start with yellow. Shake it. And I'm putting some yellow. And then I'm adding light yellow and I'm going to add some dark ochre. So basically guys, at this point, it's all yellows. What I would do next, I will put a little bit black, not much, just a little bit open up open up <laughs> and just a little bit just on a dark yellow because if it will go on a light it might turn to the greenish color and i don't need it right now but then i'm going to put my red colors and it will be beautiful as well some orange it's the color really cool color in between red and yellow it's orangey but it's more on a red side very cool color love it especially when i do fire love to use it and the real orange shake it i didn't use it you see here i used a lot of orange actually that was my main color because i was using black and the, the grayish and the orange fits perfectly here now my main color will be red and black but i still want to have some orange okay and i will add the red color as well oh it's not really red it's more pink huh how that come you know what i think we still will be fine if I will just go ahead and I will add the main red color just like this yes it already looks so cool let me show you what we got so far so we have yellows black and the red on top okay this is our cup with our fire colors let me put it right here. We don't need it right now, but we will need it in a minute. Let's start with doing the negative space. 
you guys already know how to cover everything using this uh, arrow spatula putty knife but this time we actually going to make it even more interesting we will do split we will split it to half and we'll do one part red another one will be black just like that So let's start with red first. And I'm just playing with this and making sure everything is covered. Okay, something like that. We don't really need to be really precise just making sure we basically cover that what i do i'm trying to cover as close to the red as possible but if i have the holes in between that's totally fine don't worry about this just go with this that's okay we can put there our fire colors so we still would be fine don't worry and let me cover the sides okay so overall it's all covered now you ready to see that <laughs> we starting with our fire colors that's why we prepare that what I do, I'm starting from outside and slowly starting to put them. You can just go back and forth. You can go and just really drag it on other side and that's totally fine. You can leave some lines open. That's totally fine. Just make sure there is enough color to cover everything just like that and maybe you need a little bit more yellow on this side so let me just add it a little bit more and when you see that there is no enough color whatever color is missing i will just do straight from here yeah just like that mm -hmm. just because i do want to have a little bit more yellow that i got and now that's a fun time so, I have a small blower, which I can go like this. Sometimes you can use just a big hair dryer instead, but you need to be more careful. The way how it works, you just push it like that and it goes. Can you see how fun is that? Oh my gosh, you can really see It's really now starting to look like a fire. Wow. Let me know if you like it because I think it's really, really cool. Let me actually add a little bit black on this side, just a little bit. And again, what I do, I might not recommend you to do it straight from the bottle. It's usually better to do from the small cup. You don't wanna waste your time, so I'm going that way. But for you, I would recommend you do it from the bottle the way I showed you in the beginning. Oh wow guys, look at this. Wow, 
and look how easy it was done. Now, do we need to use a straw? Not necessarily, but if you want to make some small details, which you think it could be even more beautiful, what you do, you just take this and go. and maybe a little bit here yes i love it by the way another thing which i really love that my torch and i already showed you before so oops that's the good time to use it First of all, it will kill the bubbles on my negative space, but second, it will just make small cells, which look how beautiful they look. You see, if there is a color combination underneath, something like yellow and red, it will just go and find it. And look how amazing it will look right there love it you don't want to overdo it you need to be very careful you need to know when to stop otherwise it will be just eh, blah 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 I can actually go and do a little bit here I think I overdid it just a little bit just like that and that's how we got our fire this is one of the rare cases when you don't need to use white very rarely but yes sometimes it's happening just because we're using all contrasting colors they work so cool together you don't even need it okay guys i hope you really enjoy it i thought it was amazing technique and i really wanted to share it with you that's all for today thank you so much for being with me and have a great evening thank you guys bye see you soon